This is Kutupalum Camp in Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh. And as you can see, it's a massive refugee camp. Um, I've been here uh, two years ago, 2017. And um, there have been massive changes to this place. Uh, most of them are quite encouraging. As we go further through the camps, you see um, that there are market stalls. Mm -hmm. There are areas where they're selling lots of products, so fish from the river. Yeah. They're also selling vegetables and things that they've been able to, to grow here. Uh, walking around the camp today, we've seen a lot of uh, the different activities and developments uh, that is making life uh, easier. Better na sila mga kalsada. Mas organized na yung mga tirahan nila. Meron sila mga committees. Meron mga learning place. Meron mga uh, environmental protection units. Uh, places where they can get psychosocial um, support and evaluation. Ang pinaka tumatak talaga sa akin yung interaction ko sa mga bata. Dahil karamihan talaga ng mga refugees dito ay below 18 years old. 55% yeah. of the refugees are actually under the age of 18 and unfortunately at the moment 36% of children under the age of 14 yeah. have, uh, have no access to any kind of learning. UNHCR is part of the education sector and we're working with partners to provide access to some kind of learning. So we've yeah. established temporary learning centres mm -hmm. in, across all of the camps, mm -hmm. the settlements, and uh, this provides uh, several hours per day of, mm -hmm. of learning. And uh, being able to visit this learning place that they've established was very uplifting. Um, it's always nice to see kids uh, in that kind of environment, very eager to learn, um, very curious about us as well. Yeah. So little by little, things are getting better. Makikita natin na nag-improve na yung kanilang situation. Merong certain level of you know, security and, and peace in this area. Pero kung maalala natin, just behind this refugee camp, that is Myanmar. And ultimately, that is the objective. We want people living here, the refugees, to be able to return safely back to their homes. And that can be achieved if we keep the conversation going um, to also support uh, to governments and institutions that can create the conditions for the safe return of the refugees. So beyond saving lives, it's really about making sure that they can rebuild their lives in safety and dignity.